Good morning, everyone. I just posted on our church Facebook page that due to some kind of technical issue, the live feed is not able to start on the church page today. And so uh, I'm broadcasting this from my personal page. So hopefully you'll be able to find me here on this rainy Friday morning here in Southeast Missouri. Uh, not nearly as rainy as it is further south with Hurricane Helene having made landfall uh, last night. Um, Kristen reported in this morning she has a high school friend and family that lives in Tallahassee, uh, Florida, and she did report in that they made it through the hurricane uh, with just some brush and one down tree. Um, so we're thankful for that, but many others have not been so fortunate. Um, we need to pray for power to be restored to all of Florida, and of course there's going to be uh, flooding and problems uh, much further north um, as the rain moves inland. So let's keep all of those affected by the path of Hurricane Helene in our uh, prayers this morning. Uh, Kristen also sent us updates, praise reports um, regarding some family members. Uh, she's praising God for complete turnaround in Alex's condition. Uh, she also reports that mom Vivian is doing well now and dad O continues to heal. So we give the Lord praise for all of that. We have unspoken requests for Brianna, Johnny Nelson's best friend's family, also Johnny's mother, his brother Alan, his niece Jessica, Belinda Stratton uh, with three unspoken needs. So let's remember that uh, those needs today as well. We're praying for healing for those who suffer with Parkinson's, uh, dementia, kidney issues, liver problems, stomach issues, mobility, uh, concerns, arthritis pain, back problems, uh, praying for those who have been in the hospital recently, including Beth Paris, Melania Cummins' mother, Sister McDougal, and Barbie Davis. Uh, Barbie with severe liver failure and has been on a ventilator uh, for over a week now. We're praying for Anthony, who's recovering from surgery, also Belinda's friend, Amanda Rogers, Robin Tibbs, and Marsha's Friends, Brother Mike, all have had surgery recently. And also praying for Cheryl's family member and Belinda's cousin, who both are facing upcoming surgeries. Let's keep lifting up in our prayers this morning those who are recovering from uh, protracted health issues. We know God's hand continues to be upon each of them. We see his strength present every day as they go through therapy and uh, increase uh, their functions. This is a slow but sure process. And we're believing God for complete, complete healing and restoration for each of them. Uh, those with chronic lung conditions, uh, those battling COVID and upper respiratory conditions uh, that are non-COVID in origin, uh, lots of seasonal things going on right now with allergies, sinuses and the like. So let's keep praying for all those needs among those um, Stephen and Melana Cummins have been sick this week. Praying for those with heart issues and diabetes, multiple sclerosis, migraine headaches, cancers of various kinds. Um, several children we continue praying for today. And let's do remember those who are in the hospice care, including Reverend Paul Mooney, uh, Mr. Jennings, and Miss Patterson. And other health needs we're praying for, Mike Mitchell, Betty Cossey, Venus's brother-in-law, Matthew, uh, Kristen's friend, Melissa, Marsha Moore, Cheryl LaChance, Laura Heppy, Kristen's uncle, Lonnie, and uh, Alex, who, as we reported, doing much better. Uh, Terry Nelson's sister, Cindy, Carmen's cousin, Meredith, Sue Morris, Carl Metcalf, Eddie Potts, Lois Link, Johnny's cousin, Michael, Clay, Venus, Randy, Robbie, Kristen's friend, Ann, Robin Tibbs, Cheryl Ogden, Bob and Shirley Perkins, Judy Williams' brother, George Tibbs, Devin Huff, Johnny Nelson, also nursing home residents. We continue to lift them up in our prayers, believing for encouragement uh, and competent and compassionate care. Um, we're gonna be praying also today for our global and North American missionaries. They have uh, big services coming up next week in Long Beach, California. 
as uh, there are two nights respectively set aside for focus upon those ministries and those ministries depend heavily upon the funding raised through those one night um, um, services at General Conference each year. I am global and cities worth saving to worthy programs um, that people all across the world will be sacrificially giving to. So let's pray for good results for those offerings that we can get missionaries back on the field as quickly as possible. Uh, pray for our Missouri North American missionaries. We have meetings next month, uh, just a little under a month from now in Branson that will affect many uh, North American missions church plants uh, positively and new ones coming on status. So we're praising God for all that's going on there. So keep them in your prayers. Uh, remember our military, um, pray for peace in Israel and Ukraine, pray for our upcoming elections and all the spiritual needs on our list. We continue to lift up many families, many uh, situations, uh, prodigals, uh, people who are discouraged, uh, people battling um, multiple situations as that is the enemy's desire to overwhelm us. Um, but we know that we can go to the rock. We can be led to the rock that is higher than we are in those situations. So we're trusting for all those, for those battling addictions, uh, for those in our residential care ministry and job corps ministries who need so much encouragement and constant care. So let's keep believing for them as well as your family members who are struggling um, and those who are just being uh, tested in their faith right now in addition to those who don't know the Lord. We're believing for great revival everywhere. Amen. God bless you for joining us this morning. I know only a couple of you have found me and I regret that. I did post a, a message just moments ago whenever I was not able to connect through our church uh, webpage, just simply a message popped up that said, cannot start live feed. So I don't know what's going on there, but it did work on my personal page. So I'm just going to share this over uh, to the church page um, when I get a chance here uh, this morning. I'm gonna take you to the word of the Lord in just a few moments, but I do welcome you, Johnny and Pam, who have, who have uh, found me this morning. Thank God for each of you. In fact, if I can, I'm going to try to share this uh, to our church page right now uh, so that if others are still looking for us, uh, they will be able to find us here while we're still live and before we get into our actual prayer time. Uh, Sister Pam reports that her mom's doctor's appointment in lab turned out very good, so thank the Lord for that. Uh, Johnny tells us that Lloyd is still waiting on a time slot for surgery on his knees. Uh, Terry talked to Cindy last night and uh, is pretty sick at this time. Um, speaking of Lloyd, Lloyd is very, very ill at this time. So uh, please remember those needs this morning. Let's go to the word of the Lord. Going to read to you this morning from uh, two passages of scripture, Deuteronomy 31, verse 8. Very familiar and restated and quoted in other parts of the Bible. And the Lord, he is a, He it is that goeth before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. And from that, we get many other statements such as uh, he will never leave or forsake us. What a great promise of the word. Ephesians chapter three, verse 12 says, in whom we have boldness and access isn't that awesome? We don't just have boldness, but we have access with confidence by the faith of him. As we learned in the story of David, faith and courage coincide powerfully. Uh, courage will sometimes precede faith, which is why we must find boldness in the midst of adversity. Scripture provides many reference points on how to live boldly and courageously. One Powerful example that comes to mind is Esther, a woman of faith who should inspire us all to step uh, out boldly in faithfulness. Esther was placed in a position to save hundreds 
of Jewish bloodlines that were days away from execution. We're all familiar with the phrase for such a time as this. That phrase comes from this story of Esther. It took great faith for Esther to believe the words of her cousin Mordecai when he questioned if perhaps she was made queen for such a time as this. We should all ask ourselves this question today. Have we been created for such a time as this? There's a reason why that we live in the day that we live, that we were not born in some other uh, generation, some other uh, time frame. We must remember that the Lord places us in specific places for specific purposes. And it takes faith, it takes trust to believe that the Lord has intentions behind where he has placed us. I know uh, where I'm at here in Puxico, Missouri. I'm here because my family uh, moved to this little town whenever I was uh, just three or four years old. And... Um, uh, relocated here for my dad's job situation. Therefore, I grew up in this area and have never uh, lived more than um, 50 miles from right here in Puxico in my entire life and was drawn back to this place 12 years after I left uh, to start a church. And so um, there's a reason why God places us where he places us. And I believe that God placed me where I'm at because he knew I would be most effective uh, in this particular location. And so God has a purpose for you where you are today. And sometimes when you're in a tough circumstance or situation, it might be hard to believe uh, that you're where God wants you to be. But we are to grow where we've been planted and receive this encouragement today. If you will continue to honor God with your faithfulness, God is going to bring forth much fruit from the ministry that he has placed you in. From this prayer ministry today, much fruit is going to come forth. I see everybody starting to catch up with us here today. And again, just for those joining us, uh, we had a technical issue on the church Facebook page. For whatever reason, it wouldn't let us broadcast there. It just popped up and said, a uh, little pop-up message that said, cannot start live feed, try again. Well, I tried several times and none of that worked. And so I just switched to my personal page. Everything worked fine. So hopefully there's no funny business there. Every once in a while, some malicious person will decide to report your page uh, out of spite for this, that, or the other and get restrictions placed on you. So hopefully it's nothing like that. Uh, but we are having trouble broadcasting from the church page. I have shared this over to the church page. So those of you that have been diligently searching there, you probably have found it there by now. And I would encourage others to go ahead and share the video so the people in your uh, news feed will be able to join with us. Let's go to the Lord in prayer today for these needs. We'll just pray in a general sense for these uh, categories of need today as uh, we, we got started late. But the Lord knows the needs. He cares about the situations that we're dealing with. And he's going to move today on our behalf. Let's yield to him hearts of faithfulness today. And let's see what God will do among us. Lord Jesus, we thank you today that we can come into your presence. We come joyfully. We come thankfully and gratefully today, knowing God that you have made us and we are the sheep of your pasture. We belong to you and you care about us. We cannot read very far in your word until we see your great love for us demonstrated over and over again. And we thank you, Lord, today that you do anoint our heads with oil. You do prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Hallelujah. Lord, you do follow us, goodness and mercy with us every day of our lives. And we give you the praise and the glory this morning. Thank you for another day. And thank you, Lord, for each of these praise reports that Kristen has submitted this morning and that others are posting even now. We believe you for revival in every community. We thank you for what we're seeing of it. The first fruits, Lord, of these wonderful moves of your spirit we're already experiencing. And we give you the praise and the glory for it today. And we just commit this day to you, Lord. 
We pray your will be done, your kingdom come, Lord. Your will be done in earth as it is in heaven, in our lives as it is in heaven. Let there be no uh, hindrance today from our spirits, Lord. Help us, God, to just be open and honest before you and to allow you access as you have given us access to your presence, God. We give you access and free reign in our lives today, for we know, God, that you know what's best for us. Hallelujah. We ask you today, God, to move for these who are uh, in need physically, Lord, that are battling illness and disease in their bodies. It is with your stripes, Lord, that we are healed. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Anything you've ever done, you're still able and willing to do, and you are doing a new thing today as well, God. So there's nothing that we need to back up from and fear today because we know that you are in total control. Hallelujah. We yield ourselves to you, God. We pray, Lord, for those today who are struggling with addictions, alcoholism and addictions to uh, nicotine and uh, to uh, different illicit drugs, those even that are bound by a prescription a pain pill addiction. Lord, we pray, God, deliverance for those. We, we will not be under the mastery of any. We believe for deliverance, God, for those who are codependent, Lord, those who have severe mental stressors and issues today. God, you're able, Lord, to heal the schizophrenic. You're able, God, to heal the one who's stricken with bipolar disorder. You're able, God, to heal those who are battling depression right now those who are battling suicidal thoughts. Lord, you're able to heal the mind today of that one that suffers with dementia. There's nothing that is too hard for you. So we just trust you with these needs. Lord, for those who have had long-term health situations, those in long fights with cancer, those who are battling with chronic disease today, we speak healing, we speak restoration, we speak recovery in the name of Jesus. Every child that's been afflicted by a disease today, those with uh, congenital heart defects and those uh, with rare disorders and syndromes, God, those battling with seizure conditions and juvenile diabetes, we lift them up before your throne of grace this morning and we speak healing in the name of Jesus. We release faith right now in this prayer meeting, God. We believe you. We trust you. We stand upon your word today. Hallelujah. Those, Lord, who have problems in their homes, those battling dysfunction in their families, Lord, those today who are under generational curses, we know that you have broken every bondage of sin. If we will simply learn to receive what you have done and walk in the victory that you have provided for us. In the name of Jesus, I speak healing, Lord, to each one. And we thank you, whatever the need is. If it's a financial blessing today, you're there. If it's comfort for the broken heart, you are there. Hallelujah. If it's supplying of some need today that's unspoken and not even public before us today, God, you are aware of it all. And you have not missed even one hair that has fallen from our head or one a sparrow that has fallen from the sky. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We give you this day. We commit this upcoming weekend to you. We pray, God, you would bless each one's church services. Let there be a breaking out, a breaking forth, a breakthrough, Lord, for each church, for each community in the spirit. And we give you praise and glory for all of these things. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God bless you, prayer team. I see more of you have joined us. Good to see you with us this morning, Dad. And thank all you others. Please share the video. I know it didn't get out there very well today due to the uh, having to broadcast from a different uh, Facebook page that people weren't expecting. So uh, please share the video and it will uh, get in the hands of the right people. Also, uh, you can share it from YouTube here in about 30 minutes. It'll be up and ready for you then. Have a great Friday and I look forward to joining you in prayer again on Monday morning right here at 7.45 a.m. on Facebook. If for some reason it doesn't uh, show up on uh, the church page, just click over and, and look for my personal uh, page and it will be there, Lord willing. God bless you. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday.